All right. Uh, so do you want to explain what's going uh, on? Uh, Charlie, turn right All right. Let me, let me turn him off. All right, so it's like 1224, and we're flying up to Lakeland. And in Lakeland, there's an air show called Sun and Fun. Yes. Sun and Sun in fun. fun. Yeah, fun. Um, you want a monster? Oh, yeah. Delightful. All right, so Sun and Fun is Sun and blah, blah, blah. Sun in Fun is a fly-in, and they have them all over the country, and it's when, like, a bunch of general aviation planes, like, get together, and, like, they all fly into an airport. Right. Uh, and they usually have, like, an air show associated with it, and, like, some, like, acrobatic planes come. Sun and Fun happens, I, I don't know the statistics, but I know it's one of the biggest ones. If we don't get there by one, and they close the, the airfield for landing, we just have to go somewhere else. All right, all right. Yeah. <laughs> Anybody else on frequency that's inbound to Sun and Fun that's going to try to do the VFR procedure prior to air show closing time, which is in seven minutes? Anybody on frequency, give me a call real quick. Yeah, we're uh, Cirrus to the south. We're about um, 18 miles. 18 miles south. Um, Okay, I don't think you're going to make it, so we have to close this down in now six minutes. I recommend you look for a place to put it down prior to. If you're not west of me on the procedure in five, in six minutes, then we have to turn you around. I just, no offense, I don't think you're going to make it, and uh, this comes from higher up. He doesn't know the speed of the Sirius. <laughs> <laughs> Echo. I think we need to show, show I point and show the, the, the random Chinook. Yeah. <laughs> Just, it shows up randomly. This is the third time it's been here? Uh, yeah, I don't, I've don't. i never seen it on this side. Yeah. <laughs> it's, getting, it's getting a wash. Pretty cool, though. All right, so I don't think we could land in Sun and Fun in 50 minutes, and it's a 40-minute flight. Yeah, I don't, I don't. <laughs> Let's see how this works. I think this door isn't fully closed. I mean, it looks it. It's not. I can, I can like, feel it. Can you start your base now? Yeah, there's like, oh, like the lower part isn't. Oh, weird. Yeah. Oh, it like sucks the fingers out. <laughs> and how long of a flight is it from Fort Myers to there? So for us, it's 40 minutes. And what time do we leave? At 12.10. What time, what time do they cut off landing? One o'clock. All right, all right. <laughs> so, in, in our normal fashion, we're a little pinched on time. But during the air show, there's no landing at all in, during any kind of acrobatic show. And today, there are two shows. There's an afternoon show and a night show. All right, and I found out also that you can't leave after the night show. You pretty much have to stay. Airport is closed, and the night show goes until like 9.30 at night. So, unless we want to stay the night, we need to leave before that night show. Also, this day show goes from like 1 until like, I think it's like 4.30 or something. So, if we don't get there by 1 and they close the, the airfield for landing, we just have to go somewhere else. Alright, alright. Yeah. So, just to make sure, so we're on 1, 2, 4, 5, which is what we should be on. They clo in, t in 10 minutes, they stop taking BFR. It'll be good. This will be good. 
Anybody else on frequency that's inbound to Sun and Fun that's going to try to do the VFR procedure prior to air show closing time, which is in seven minutes? Anybody on frequency, give me a call real quick. Yeah, we're uh, Cirrus to the south. We're about um, 18 miles. 18 miles south. Um, okay, I don't think you're going to make it, so we have to close this down in now six minutes. Because if you're not west of me on the procedure in five, in six minutes, then we have to turn you around. I just, no offense, I don't think you're going to make it. And uh, this comes from higher up. And we're close. That's the lake. Okay, right there. Well, now we know. No. I mean, Is anybody in from Lake Parker? We are serious. We're over Lake Parker. All right, Sirius from Lake Park. Unfortunately, they're closing the airport now for the air show, and um, let's find an alternate place to go. Roger. Should be accepting arrivals about 6 o'clock. Affirmative. Thanks. Appreciate your patience. We'll just circle here for six hours. Please, thanks. We like just missed it. I know, by like a minute. I'm like a minute. <laughs> now we have to just look at it. Uh, well. Hey, Pete. Number two, following Cessna 172 traffic one mile northwest of the airport should be no factor. Enter the left base. Do not go to the downwind. Enter left base and caution crane at the pier bridge. Number 662, I'll call your turn back in. I do have uh, multiple targets within two miles of the airport. Give me about one mile uh, north, of, one more mile north, and then I'll start your turn southbound. Roger, I got that traffic and fine. Continue north for 662. Traffic, traffic. Four Julia Mike is clear to land, just keep it in tight, please. Four Julia Mike clear to land, runway 18. Number 76 Fox, right turn northbound. Caution crane at the pier bridge, wind 1806. A turning right, is at the uh, range traffic for 18. Now, Seven six Fox Strat, you'll be number two following the no. Mitsubishi. He's two miles northwest of the airport, turning out left. This is a hot landing. That, that was hot hot left turn out <laughs> proof. I was Mitsubishi, looking. Uh, two <laughs> you like, you are clear to land. One to one. I didn't know you were landing this way. I'm like, what the hell? Put a ground, Sierra six four three drill, Mike. Uh, we're on Bravo. We're heading over to General Aviation. Four Juliet Mike with a ground Roger team northbound on uh, Bravo and turn left on Charlie. Bravo to Charlie, you three good Mike, thanks. which is a little closer than uh, Lakeland, um, at a restaurant called The Hangar that I've always wanted to try out. Uh, 
It looks nice. There's like a nice little balcony. I don't know. I feel like a burger today. I'm starving, so <laughs> it's good on that. So what's pretty cool about St. Pete is the airport's right here and walking distance to downtown is two, three blocks at most. So you can walk downtown and go to a whole bunch of restaurants. There's the Dolly Museum, which is like 10 feet away from us and uh, all the different restaurants, there's uh, other parks and stuff like that. So that's kind of sweet. outside on the like the balcony of the hangar. Yes. I like this. This is nice. Yeah. I like how it's like shaded. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no, we'd be cooking if there was oh, this. Yeah. Yeah, fire. yeah, so we didn't expect to come here today. No. But I've always this has been like my favorite restaurant that I've ever been to because I've landed here before and usually we like to the crew car and go somewhere. But since this episode's a little fly by wire 100% like <laughs> all of it. And we had a little bit of a sketchy landing. So that should be, hopefully that turned out good in the footage. I kind of wanted to do the try the meatballs. Let's, let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> the smoked Gouda stuffed meatballs. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> it's got bacon jam on it. I'm getting the hanger hamburger. So if you're going to get the hanger hamburger, I should get the not quite $100 hamburger club sandwich. I guess. It's not quite a $100 hamburger. So like one thing we're going to try and start doing is condensing our videos a little bit. Uh, we're going to possibly do a review here, yeah. as opposed to in the plane. Uh, we're going to explain what we're eating now as opposed to after. Um, I think that, that makes more sense. Yeah, I think it like will fit a little bit better. Um, and yeah, that's about it. Hopefully we're going to try and cut down the videos maybe a tiny bit, but it's hard to with all the footage we get. The, we did fix the seatbelt situation, so don't worry. We do now wear our seatbelts the proper way down by our waist. I hate it. I, hate it. Yeah. I know, it's like, especially after, we might change it after we eat. We sit there, it's like holding a burger in my belly. I like St. Pete though. This is, a, this is probably my favorite airport to fly to. It's like right on the water. Yeah. Um, and but it's also like a city too. So. Yeah, like downtown's like right there. Yeah. The Dolly Museum is next door. Is, that, is it really? Yeah. Yeah, but they were like, I can do it now. I'm gonna go with the hanger hamburger. I'm gonna do a hundred dollar hamburger a sandwich. Yeah. Now, did you want it on the three pieces of bread the way it comes, or you just want to do it on a bun? Who? Uh, a bun. Yeah. And then how's it cooked? Uh, medium. Fries, chips, pasta, salad, or salad? <laughs> yeah. Fries. Fries? Okay. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, it's actually a burger. I still, I thought it was a, uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realize it was like actually a burger. Yeah, it's a burger with like, but it was on like club bread. So would you just end up getting a burger? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Quality fries. Though. These are the good fries. These are good, These fries. Are the good fries. I like how the waitress is probably like, why does why do these people keep <laughs> showing the camera their food? That's good. Bread is good. Mm -hmm. That's pretty no, good. That's good. It's 
cooked well. Yeah. Looks like mush meat, but yeah, that's pretty dang good. Man. It's got bacon jam or jelly. That's crazy. This just has the good old-fashioned bacon. It's pretty good. I did ask for my medium, but it's, it's, why'd you go medium? I don't know. It's, it's how I'm feeling today. It's a medium day, but it's like awesome. I like this burger a lot. Yeah. I think there's an extra saltiness to it that I appreciate. There is, it's a little salty. It's a little salty. I don't taste salt anymore. So. Probably the eight pieces of bacon. Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> it might have something uh -huh. to do with it. These are the best fries though. These are on point. Yeah. I don't know what you call these fries. Are they double breaded? I think the burgers are better than average burger. But I think the fries are like the best part of this. Yeah? But I still like the burger a lot. I could get down with that. There's... But zero to seven point zero. What would you give the burger? Um I'd probably say a five. I was gonna say five too. Yeah, I it's a good good because cooked well, onions, bacon jam, bread if I the bread's good. I know I I just Half the time, like, as far as the bun, it sucks. Yeah. Never ruins it. Wind of Ground, Sierra 643, Julia Mike, uh, over at Shelt Air with information. Ready to taxi for a southern VFR departure. Sierra 643, Juliet Mike. With a ground wind 230 at 6, altimeter 29 or 9 or 6, runway 25, taxi via Delta, and then cross runway 18 on Delta. And are you familiar with the airspace to the south? Uh, over to runway 25 via Delta, cross 18. I'll stay below the Bravo and then, and yeah, I'll just keep below the shelf. Three Julie Mike. Sure, three Julie Mike. Roger. Okay. On departure, just swap 1200 and maintain a VFR out of below 1100. I'll squawk VFR and then I'll stay on that airspace region like thing. Yeah, overall I'd say that it was a successful sortie. Yeah, fine. Our seatbelts are, I think, on appropriately now. Mine doesn't go lower, so... You need I, to, I, I want it tighter, please. It hits the, my leg. Like, it's on the fupa. It's like holding it in. <laughs> Speaking of the 360 videos, we put out the 360 videos here and there. Yeah. Uh, I guess the one important thing I like to tell people is you have to watch it on your YouTube app. Yeah, we, uh, we've gotten people that asked us about it saying it looks either it looks weird or... And another thing is they're saying that it like looks low resolution. Yeah. If they saw the amount of data we're storing, they would know that it's not low resolution. It's not. It, it depends on your bandwidth on your phone or your connection yeah. or whatever. So like if you're on Wi-Fi, you should technically have the yeah. the best view of it. If you're using 3G and, or using your uh, cell phone data and you're in like like Sebring, yeah. you might not get <laughs> like all of it. But it is high definition for sure. Absolutely. <laughs> and, and files are outrageously huge. Uh, it's <laughs> massive. But uh, yeah, so be sure to check those out. We like to make them because it's a little extra content for the channel. Alright, well hey, thanks for watching another episode of $100 Hamburger. Uh, sorry it was kind of weird, it was supposed to be a $100 Sun and Fun experience, <laughs> but that didn't work out. <laughs> if you like the stuff that we're doing, please like and subscribe. Um, but we do have an Instagram page and uh, Instagram account, and we post a lot of stuff to that. But leave us a comment underneath. That definitely helps us. Like and subscribe. Uh, check out the 360 videos. You'll probably see one of those after the video, like we said. Yeah. Um, is there anything else you can think of? No, that's it. Thanks for watching. More episodes to come. Yeah, thanks for watching.